Hello everybody, I'm Ian Chikino. I'm going to cast a best of three series for ESL Cup between Virus Satini is our orange Terran player down here in the bottom position on Lost Temple. And he's going to play against Miles Hasu, which is our blue Chrono Boosting Protoss player on the left side of the map. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is for ESL Cup. And this is game number one on Lost Temple. So let's see what's kind of going on. Oh, just a warning, this is a pre-1.2 patch. So those observers still cost as much as they did before, and all the other patch changes as well. Um, so let's check out what's going on here. We got our uh, barracks being built and uh, throwing up our gas, so it's pretty standard opening for Satini. Both players sending out their scouts, has to throwing up his gateway. We'll probably see a uh, gas pop up. There it goes. And uh, let's see who's going to scout. No, nope, looks like both players are unfortunately both got scouting the wrong directions. And, uh, yeah, not much going on this early on in the game. Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you people while we have some downtime that, uh, uh, you can check out my YouTube channel. I, I just did a recent, uh, in-depth build order, uh, like analysis tutorial type of, uh, show with, uh, a 3100 diamond Terran player who's, uh, in the top 200 last time that top 200 list came out. And he just basically talks about his, uh, TVP build. Uh, that involves mech, which doesn't happen very often, a, a mech player uh, versus versus Protoss, but it's really interesting. We spent a lot of time talking about uh, just how how to play mech against Protoss. So if you're interested in that, uh, if you're a Terran player that, you know, just want to learn some new build orders, or if you're a Protoss player wanting to uh, learn how to beat certain type of build orders or just learn something new, check that out. I'll put a link to that in this video somewhere. It'll pop up. I'll probably put that at the end. But anyway, we have the probe sneaking up, but nope, it's going to get shut down by those two bouncer marines. And uh, let's see, Satini, did he actually scout? No, he actually is just hanging out there with the SCV. He knows his opponent is over there, so I guess he's already assumed that the... Oh, actually, the Stalker isn't out yet. I guess he just... Uh, SS SCV's on uh, break. He's a union, and he's uh, you know he's taking his 15 minutes. So uh, we got a reactor coming up and a second refinery <coughs> and a barrack. So we'll probably see a tech build here from Satini. A double refinery, definitely indicative of that. And he's probably just going to pump out a bunch of marines for the time being uh, to spin those minerals while he techs up. I really don't see him going for an expansion. I think this is going to be a one base play from Satini. And over here in Hasu's base, uh, getting up a second gas, getting over a robo facility, and uh, doing some pretty good pylon spread. Whoa, this factory's flying over here, but uh, let's see if he's actually going to check this out. This is going to be a pretty close place when that stalker is right there. This is, I think it's going to get seen. Yep, there it is. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me, unfortunately. That factory isn't going to be able to land and uh, build Hellions like we saw a lot in the beta. Uh, I'm surprised that ever worked. But anyway, uh, this uh, factory is going to do all the scouting for them. They do have close air spawning positions, so, I mean, using a factory uh, to scout with is really nice. It saves yourself a scan. And yeah, sure, your opponent knows you're not making any factory units, but uh, what the hell. If they... Uh, if they're paying attention at all, they should be, be aware of what you're doing anyway. So this factory is going to get a whole uh, bird's eye view of that base, and it's going to easily be able to, uh, probably going to park up here on this ledge and just keep an eye out for that expansion. And this SCV is still hanging here at the Zell Naga Tower. we got two stalkers out, a Zealot, and getting up a, uh, let's see, what is he going for, three gate? That looks like three gate robo. Uh, in, in a mobile, in mortal, blah, 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 in mortal popping out, I was going to say in mortal, but uh, an observer coming over here, so both players are going to be well aware of what each other is going for, and we actually have a Banshee coming out, no Cloak being researched though, he does have enough gas to get Cloak, not enough minerals, but I'm kind of assuming he's not going to go, uh, he's not going to go with Cloak, building some more uh, barracks, I think he's going to go for just like a Marine Banshee play, one base Marine Banshee is pretty strong against Protoss, especially if they go Immortals, uh, Immortals not the best units to deal with Marines or Banshees for that matter, and he did see that Observer, he did pull these Marines over here that was forcing uh, uh, has to pull back. So, uh, yeah, let's see, what do we got to build over here? Oh, he's going for robotics bay. One base, okay. So he saw uh, a, quite a few of Marines, and knowing Immortals are going to be bad for that, he's going to switch over to Colossus. Uh, it'll probably be, I don't see him getting the range upgrade on that Colossus just because it's so expensive. And actually, wow, he's going for, he uh, is transitioning this into a uh, command center. So Satini just playing defensive with the Marines and Banshees. And this bench is going to go do some attacking at the top. And he does have that, that observer. I think no, actually, it doesn't matter. He doesn't need an observer because he does not cloak. Uh, so 
Now, is, it, is he actually going to go for a drop with these Marines? He's got some Marines set up. He's got a reactor on the starport, so he may see some Marines. And that Observer caught this, so this Banshee is going to not accomplish anything. He's just going to have to get out of there and uh, hopefully get home to get some repairs. But, oh, no, so close. Almost get, he gets out of there with 20 life. And uh, she's sweating out inside that thing. The thing is very close. But uh, he switches over to this reactor, uh, researching uh, concussive shell upgrade and stim at the same time Colossus is coming out. So, let's see here, is he actually, oh, he's finally got that SCV, that SCV is going to get retired, and he's not going to get any compensation, unfortunately, he's going to die, and that stalker's going to pick him up, and building some more bunkers, I guess he's afraid of an attack, he did see all those stalkers push out, so, uh, it isn't, uh, and he's actually, oh man, don't attack with this banshee, I mean, he saw all the banshees leave the base, or saw all the stalkers leave the base, so that is triggering Satini to attack with this banshee, but, I mean, this thing is so low, it's going to get two shot. Boom. Where's the next one? Boom. Dead. I mean, come on. Don't do that, people. Okay, so Teeny throws away a Banshee. Could have just brought it back to get repaired. Uh, kind of a waste, but... Uh, there we got the Medivac coming out, and where is that sucker rallied to? It's rallied, like, way up here. Where is that rallied to? Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, and, oh man, is he actually not going to catch this rally? Is he not paying attention? Satini not paying attention? He might just lose this Medivac. <laughs> rally to his opponent's base. Hassie's probably thinking like, what? He's probably thinking, oh man, I'm gonna get dropped. I need to come back here and defend my base. But actually, no. Uh, Satini, I think, making a mistake there. Or maybe he was, maybe he meant to screw with him. I don't know. But Satini building up a mostly bio army right now. The Colossus range upgrade is being researched. Uh, he's getting his expansion up, and Hassie's in a pretty good place now with his army. Got a pretty good mix. A uh, couple centuries, not much energy on those, so. Uh, so Satini uh, going for uh, this expansion and throw up some more more barracks and build some more medevac. So yeah, we're basically seeing the standard uh, TVP going on right now. Marine Marauder medevac. Like I said, if you want to see some of the new, check out that uh, in-depth uh, mech build versus Protoss uh, I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, so Marine Marauder medevac. Uh, so we'll see how that can deal with the gateway uh, Colossus upgrade, range Colossus upgrade uh, with, the, with the warp gates. It's basically just going to come down to, uh, I mean, both these expos are arriving at the same time. Actually, I think Satini's was a little bit faster. And uh, Harvester Count, pretty similar, only head by three for Hasu, but of course, Satini does, Satini does have uh, mules, so he's actually a little bit ahead overall in the income. And this factory is still just, <laughs> just flying around the map. Doesn't know what else to do, just looking for expansions. And uh, hasn't found any more yet, but he's aware of this expansion down here. And both players are aware of each other's expansion. Ooh, getting a ghost out. That's going to be very nice. He only has enough for one EMP, and Satini is going to push out. And we may have a fight out here at the side of the base. Let's check the army count real quick. 100 people versus 86. Not looking good for Satini. Uh, oh, man, losing a couple of marauders. This is not a good fight. Uh, he does get a good EMP off, but, man, there are so many zealots up front. Uh, I think Satini just needs to get up that ramp and just pray uh, that he doesn't lose the game. Oh no, there goes the force field. This is going to be a slaughter. Pulling SCVs, yes, pull SCVs, but I mean, oh man, just Satini's going to be massacred here. He's got uh, quite a few meta, uh, meta packs, but not enough units to actually heal with. Because <laughs> he's got, yeah, he has more meta packs at this point than he used to heal, but uh, wow, he's kind of uh, managing this a little better than I thought he would. I think he's still going to lose his fight. Those meta packs probably should just pick up those units and go home and. Uh, lift off this orb of command. Those uh, tall boys in the back are getting folks fired. That one's in the back getting folks fired, but it looks like there it goes. He's not gonna, it's gonna drop. He's not even bothering the micro back. Uh, Hasu is, uh, you know, this fight actually went a lot more even than I thought it would, but I still think even if, there we go, Satini GG. Like I said, if, if uh, even if uh, he fought off that attack, just the harvester count, as you can see, 20 to 45, that would have been game over uh, in like five more minutes anyway. But anyway, uh, yeah, game number one goes to Mouse Has to. Mouse Has to. So uh, let's jump into game number two.